So you're hungry and you don't want any real food, so what do you decide to eat? An ice cream cone. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again, taking a look at how to create a cool-looking ice cream cone. Uh, and we're gonna get started today. This will work not in 2.8, obviously. I want to say that because a lot of you guys have been asking me stuff like that lately. And yes, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna de delete default cube. I know. I'm sorry. Goodbye, default cube. We could have used you, but not quite. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift A, and we're gonna add in first uh, a cone. And this cone, obviously, is gonna be our ice cream cone. But before we do anything, before we move it, before we do anything, I'm gonna go down here and open up this add cone. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and, and turn down these vertices all the way down to as many vertices as you want. I think I'm going to do four today. So we have four different vertices because this is, low, is a low poly ice cream cone. We're going to go ahead and now we can actually flip this thing up. So we can go RX uh, 180 to flip that straight on up. And then we'll hit tab to go into edit mode. Hit GZ to move it down a little bit because I want that to be a bit more in the center of our um, of our origin there we go so that's pretty good so far what I want to do now is we'll go ahead and hit tab once again go back into edit mode go to face select mode up here at the top grab the face select mode just click that top face hit I to inset and just scroll your just move your mouse in a little bit get a little bit of a thick edge on there and then we'll hit E to extrude and then we'll just move it downwards now you can see we're having this peak out the bottom which is not what we want so we'll go ahead and hit S to scale this down and inwards we can hit Z and then uh, go to wireframe to see the wireframe if I uh, take a look at this you can we can kinda get a good look of how how far and how deep we can go down here maybe something like that looks pretty good yeah as long as we can't see it doesn't really matter what it looks like down the bottom since we won't, we won't see that anyway but it's nice to have things looking good from no matter what angle you have so uh, this is rotated by 45 degrees which I don't want so we'll hit R Z uh, 45 to rotate that facing you know one of the grid size uh, grid sides um, we'll go ahead and now we can have our actual ice cream I think I want this to be a bit thicker so we'll go to edge select mode select all of these edges here on the inside and then we'll hit S to scale them inwards so I want that to be a little bit more thick. All right, yeah, I think that looks better. Perfect, wonderful. Now we can hit Shift A once again, go to Meta Ball, grab a meatball, and we'll go to Cube. Since I want to have a cube stylized, uh, low poly, eh, low poly ish stylized ice cream cone, I want to use cubes instead of spheres. So hit S to scale that down like that. And I want a main ice cream piece, obviously, you know. So we'll do something like uh, something like that, right? So it looks pretty good so far. Um, we can go to render viewport chain to look at that. Yeah, looks pretty good so far. I want to uh, hit Shift D to duplicate, and you can see since we have meatballs here, and when we scale this down, they kind of merge together, which is what I want. So we'll just go ahead and put around a, a bunch of random little pieces here to kind of give the uh, effect of ice cream. So we'll just hit Shift D and double tap R to rotate some stuff around, S to scale some stuff up. And we'll just do this process until we are satisfied with what the ice cream cone looks like. Um, so it's looking pretty cool, kind of, uh, kind of melty and and nice and soft, like ice cream should be. Maybe it's soft serve. I don't know. I don't know. You know, you have the option. You have the choice. The choice is yours. You can get with this or you can get with that. It's all all right. We hit G and move around and and R to rotate. Double tap R rather. S to scale it up. And we will uh, do a couple more things like that. I think I want this. I'm trying to get rid of some of these gaps in the middle here. So, oop, no, uh, just scale that down. That looks pretty good. Uh, something like that. Maybe one over here. Trying to get it from all different angles so I can see what's going on. Um, you could use cubes and just round the edges of the cubes. But I'll, I'll show you why this method is a bit cooler in my opinion. In a second here once we have all these pieces laid out. I think we're almost pretty much done. I want a little bit more depth over here. Um, maybe, uh, oop, no, we'll grab, uh, can I, there we go, we gotta grab that middle one, uh, maybe I want it to be a little bit taller, actually, let's duplicate that, uh, shift D, a little bit taller on the top, maybe come to a little bit of a peak, yeah, alright, I think that looks pretty good, um, all angles, I think we need one right there, yeah, alright, so that looks pretty good, like that, I think we are finished with that, um, what I want to do now is we can go up to the top while well, we can grab this uh, this meta ball here go to resolution view in this uh, the object data tab here turn the resolution view up or down you can see we get uh, a bit more clarity when we turn uh, it way down it goes all the way down to 0.05 and the render goes all the way down to point 
uh, 0.025. There we go. So we can get that as low as as low as that right there, which looks pretty good. We, ooh, if we hit G, you can see it's easy. It's difficult to move now, but that's fine. Um, we don't have to have that all the way up at the moment. We can put that on 0.1 maybe instead, right for the for the time being, and this can be in 0.5. Um, so that's pretty good. So now we have a little bit of, uh, of of smoothness and clarity with that. If I turn overlays off, you can see having something looks pretty good so far. I like it. I love it. Uh, what I want to do now is we'll go ahead and set up our camera because we're pretty much done with our ice cream cone. I'm going to go ahead and, and grab our camera, hit zero to go into the, num, uh, into the uh, camera view on my numpad, hit zero. Uh, we'll go to the camera tab, actually the render tab, the dimensions tab right here, sorry, the scene tab. Uh, and I want a square, so we'll go 2000 by 2000. Um, ooh, and then we'll open up this tab on the left hand side, on the right hand side, sorry. We'll go to lock camera to view, and then we'll just kind of rotate this around until I get an angle that I want. I think that looks pretty good right there. So I'll just zoom in with my mouse button and shift and move around and stuff. Um, so I think something like that looks pretty good, right? So we'll uncheck lock camera to view, get rid of that tab now because we don't need it, and we'll rotate our camera by uh, hitting R ooh, by hitting R Z. Well, let me select my camera. There we go. By hitting R maybe uh and then double t and then double tapping z we can rotate just ever so slightly just so we have a little bit of depth maybe maybe that way yeah all right looking good looking good i like it so now we can go to render viewport shading take a look at uh, the lighting here which is a big problem obviously so we'll go ahead and grab our lamp hit g to move it off to the right hand side of the camera here looking a little bit better uh, and i want to go ahead and change this in the light tab here in the object data tab to area from uh, from point rotate it around uh, R Z, and then we'll change the shape from rectangle to square, and turn the size up so the shadows are a bit softer and the light is a bit nicer. Um, we'll hit Shift D to duplicate that, and just move it up a little bit, and hit Shift D once again, move it below, and then we'll just double tap R to rotate it upwards so we have a light coming from the top, which looks good. Um, and then we'll go ahead and turn the um, emission down a little bit on the bottom hand light, and we'll also change the colors of these lights here. So. I'll get the the bottom the bottom light. We'll change this to a nice soft blue, maybe something like that, right? And then here on the top, we will have the main light be a little yellowish, just a little bit yellow, right? And then the one above that, we will have that be a deeper, uh, like a deep, maybe pinkish purple. Yeah, purple is where we want to go. So it looks pretty good. Now for our actual ice cream cone, I went with a purple because I want to have our material. We'll go to the material tab here. I want to have our material be pink for our ice cream cone because that looks that looks nice and tasty. Yeah. All right. Now that looks pretty good. We'll 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 fix this material up in a second. I want to grab our cone, add a new material. We'll call this one cone, um, and we'll call our ice cream color uh, ice cream. Sure. Basic, straightforward. Our cone color will be changed to like a tannish brown peach color like that. I suppose yeah it looks good um, and what I want to do is I'll turn the roughness all the way up for ice cream cone I don't want any shine on the ice cream cone but for our ice cream itself we'll turn overlays off on the top here so we can see it a bit better and uh, I will actually for it with our background I'll turn it solid black for the time being all right so our ice cream our ice cream itself I want to grab that uh, right there yep and I want to do a couple of things here we'll turn specular almost all the way up we'll turn roughness almost all the way down um, and we will turn sheen all the way up, sheen tint all the way up, specular tint all the way up, and we can, you know, we can turn specular all the way up. Yeah, sure, why not? So that looks a little bit better at the uh, as of right now. We'll turn clear coat up as well, and I also turn clear coat roughness up just slightly. So it looks pretty good so far. Our pink color is kind of not as appetizing right now, so we'll go ahead and, and fix that color. Maybe something like that, a bit more saturated, a bit more red in it. Be a little bit more pastel right there that's good so that looks pretty sweet so far literally sweet <laughs>